Hello everyone, this is Movie Reviews for Life, and um, today I want to review um, one of my favorite, you know, films from the 1980s. It's called uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and um, what I enjoyed about this film, I mean, you got some great music, you got great direction by Stephen Herrick, you know, and, and very, very well done acting, you know. Um, this is like, uh, you know, this is like... You know, you got two airhead kids, you know, uh, Bill and Ted, played by Alex Winter, who is more famous for playing one of the vampires in The Lost Boys, and he also played in, I believe, the movie's Freaked, or it might be Freaks, you know, uh, where he plays a human who winds up becoming, like, a kind of a freakish, you know, uh, person who at, at goes to the circus or something like that. And um, then, of course, we got Keanu Reeves, you know, who we all know who he is, and you know, take a good look at this film and its sequel because it's one of the last times you're gonna see him smile. Because sadly, I mean, I still love the films. Don't get me wrong; all the films Keanu Reeves has done has been pretty good. But he does have like an expressionist face, and this is one of those times where you can see him actually have more than just this sad look on his face. You know, um, we also get George Carlin in one of my favorite all-time roles that he's played. He plays uh, Rufus, the uh, character that comes back from the future to help save. You know, Bill and Ted's friendship by helping them pass their history exam. You get several other, you know, cast members, which I'll put, you know, in the um, in the information box on the on the, uh, you know, right side, you know, so uh, you can read off of that. But uh, they meet several different historical characters in the film: uh, Genghis Khan, so Socrates, Napoleon, you know, Abraham Lincoln, Joan of Arc, uh, Sigmund Freud. You know, and just and and they put, he they definitely put a comedic spin on you know history and makes it kind of fun to want to learn about you know you wind up wanting to actually look these guys up and find out their real historical nature and everything. It's it's a great film, you know, and and in the eighties, you know, it was it was very fun to watch. Um, it helped spin uh spin off not just the sequel but a cartoon series and a live action series, which I found to be equally as good. But you know, they didn't last too long. But neither the cartoon or the live action series, you know. But um, the the film itself has got some great music. Um, the soundtrack is very rare, so. You know, if you are able to find these songs, you know, you're really lucky because it took me a while just to find a couple songs. I haven't even downloaded the entire album yet. Um, but you got Play With Me by Extreme, Boys and Girls Are Doing It by Vital Signs, Not So Far Away by Glenn Burtnick, Dancing with a Gypsy by Tora Tora, Father Time by Shark Island, I Can't Break Away by Big, Pit, uh, Big Pig, which, you know, is the song in the beginning of the film. Dangerous, another song by Shark Island called Dangerous. Walk Away by Bricklin. In Time by Robbie Rob, which is uh, this, this like nice slow song they hear when, they're, when they end up in the future. Two Heads Are Better Than One, which is the montage song by Power Tool. You know, and it's just a really awesome soundtrack. I mean, they really should have just, like, it should, I would wish they would have really just continued with it, you know. Um... There's also a comic book spin-off and video games, you know, and you know, so on and so on. It also helped really revolutionize air guitar, you know, but what I, but what I liked about the film, um, it is just the cleverness of everything, you know. It makes history fun, like I said. You know, um the the acting's done you know, done well, you know, and um and it's just, you know, a highlight of each person's career. I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the um, historical characters we see, we don't really see in any other film. At least not, not you know, not for me anyway. But the leads, you know, they, they're, they're, well, at least Keanu Reeves' careers have just taken off, you know. Um, unfortunately, there's no special features on the disc uh, for the DVD. Um, and that's really disappointing. You know, MGM now has the rights to the distribution of the of the film. You know, and they haven't really made any kind of good special features. They did come out with a box set a few years back, which I actually have the um, the uh, box set that was recalled because of the uh, number on the top. But um, you know, that has that has a lot of good special features, but the individual discs themselves don't really have good features. So um, you know, I do implore, you know. Um, 
MGM to get off their ass and make a good special edition. I mean, Keanu Reeves can't be that much of a big star yet. You know, can't can't have that much of a big ego not to say, okay, let me do some special features. You know, if he is, then you know what, he's an ass. But um, definitely go see this movie. All right, um, I give it about four out of five. It never gets tiresome to watch. I mean, I can watch this film over and over and over again. Definitely something to watch. Alright, so uh, please stay tuned. I will have my Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey review, and I might I might do a special disc review on the third third disc that came with the box set. You know, um, if if I do, it won't be like an in depth thing. It'll just you know just be a the short little overview of everything. You know, so um, definitely go check it out. Like I said, four out of five, and stay tuned.